Brother, Dr. Unity Shahi, uh, and your lovely wife, First Lady Pasha. Thank you guys for opening up your home, your tabernacle to our church network. Ah, great church, our church network. My, my God, my God, my God. Please excuse me, I'm not as polished as some of these, some of these preachers and pastors around here. <laughs> I, I, I'm the baby of the bunch. I'm the baby of the bunch. I, I, file, I file under Pastor Keon Henderson. That's my, that's my spiritual father, but I'm the baby of the bunch. I'm the big baby, but I'm the baby of the bunch. I'm still a little rough on the sides, and I got a little edge to me, so just give me a minute. And so uh, I'm, I'm going to take my time with this thing, okay? I'm going to take my time with this thing. Uh, Cynthia? Yes, sir. Evangelist, sis, Cynthia. Yes, sir. My God, thank you. Amen. For that word, Amen. I, I I don't know uh, I don't know I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do better than that. Uh, and, uh, I don't know why you got uh, Minister Rachel to do this thing. We could have just went home. She didn't already preach this in. So, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna put out this disclaimer first to uh, to, 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 to to our host church. Uh, if you find ashes. Around about me in this pit. Don't feel. I just want to tell you, it, it's not me. Amen. Every time I talk to God, I have to ask Him to burn something off of me. Amen. I have to ask Him to fall some ashes. So you you might find some here. All right. You might find some there. All right. Amen. You might find some there. Amen. If you're here tonight, you have something that God needs to burn off. Come on, Come on. But I'm gonna say this here right now. God, I, I, I've always wanted to burn off what I, well, what I don't need. Because one thing he will do, he will exchange his beauty for my ashes. So each and every time I, 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 I want to I ask God to just burn off what's not made of me and make me pure gold. You can't be, become pure gold without first going through the fire. So what you go through, go through with your head held high. Amen. Amen. So if I leave a few ashes up here in this pit, <laughs> this is a pit, right? Yeah, is. This is a pool pit, right? Yeah, this is where ashes go, right? So in this spot right here, I ask God to just burn off all yeah. my impurities. Yeah. And I'm asking that you guys do the same. Wherever you are, ask God to burn off your impurities. Amen. Whatever is not of you, ask God to burn off the impurities. Amen. 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 <sighs> I've already asked God for your forgiveness. But uh, brother uh, 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 Shahid, so we're gonna go into the uh, word of the Lord. He gave me a word, and I talked. I was talking to brother Shahid last night. He said, well, "What's the name of your sermon?" I said, "Doc, I don't know." <laughs> I say, "I've, I've, I've been, I've changed this thing three or four times, <laughs> and tried to go, but he, I was trying to do me." Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And finally, God rested on me Come on and gave me a word. Amen. And I want to ask you, what are you hoarding Ooh. in your life? Oh. What, are you, what are you hoarding? Jesus. So if you don't know what hoarding means, it's to, it, it means to just continue to build up clutter. Yeah. Never giving away anything, always receiving. Wow. Always bringing in and never giving out. Wow. What are you hoarding? So I'm gonna take you to. I'm, uh, uh, let, let, let's go <laughs> before I get too far. Let, let, let's go to John 15 and 7. I'm gonna read it for you. If you get it, yeah. fine. If you don't, read it on your own time. I'm uh, cause I want to be quick about this. Our church network. He about to blow up. I tell my man, I want to be there. I, I want to be there. You hear me? Uh, John chapter 15, John 15 and 7 says, "If you abide in me." All right. Yes, sir. And my words abide in you. Yes, sir. Ask of me what you will, well. and it shall be done unto you. Yeah. At church, we, we do this thing where he says, you can be you have your seats. At church, we do this thing we call seven minute sermons. Uh -huh. And they say, you do it in seven minutes. If you can do it in seven minutes, you got it. Uh -huh. You got it. So I'm going to try to do this in seven minutes. Okay? If you abide in me, 
John is, is listening to Jesus talk to the disciples uh -huh. in chapters 14 and 15. All right. He's telling them that you have to abide in me. Uh -huh. He's explaining to them, I, it's going to come a day when I won't be here. Yeah. It's, it's going to come a day when you're going to have to lean on yourself. So I need for you to do these three things, these two things, and then the third one will be your promise. Uh -huh. So if you abide in me, uh -huh. I love King James. I don't, new versions, that's okay. Yeah. But I love King James because he, he makes you look at these words and he makes you go and research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I researched abide. It just, it just doesn't mean to rest. Uh -huh. It just doesn't mean to lay down. Yeah. Abide means to, you have to Endure without yielding. Amen. Meaning you have to endure without giving up. Uh, my God. If you abide in me. Make it plain. Remain stable. Yeah. All right. yeah. Work in my church. Be a servant. Yeah. Even when you're going through your fire. Even when you're going through your storm. Even when things don't seem right. Uh, come on. Even when your lights are off. All right. Even when you're robbed. Naked. Yeah. All right. Remain steadfast. Amen. And stable. Yeah. If ye abide in me. Yeah. Abide. Remain stable. Stay where you are. Work. Abide can, can, can stand alone by itself. Uh -huh. Sometimes the old, first, old folks used to just say, baby, I'm just biding my time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they just waiting. They just waiting. So God says, abide. Uh -huh. Then he says, to wait. Uh -huh. Patiently. Yeah. Remain stable in me. Be as stable as a servant. Be as stable as a leader. Uh -huh. Within the kingdom of God. Yeah. Jesus is talking to the disciples, telling them of eternal life. Yeah. In 14 and 15. And he's telling them that to remain in him. Because he's... The true vine. Amen. In, the, in the beginning of chapter 15, he says, I am the true vine. Yeah. I am the way. Yeah. There are branches. And he says, I am. Yeah. Then he goes down. The second, the, the, the second point of this, he says, and, and, and this is the one that got me. Uh. Pastor Torrance can, can, can attest to this. I was stuck on this. We was in there studying. And I was like, man, no, nah, uh-uh, hold on. You can't just pass over that question like that. That did something to me. Yeah. In my study, and it did something to me. And when, when, when it vexes me, God begins to speak. Yeah. And I have to sit down and write and study and see what's going on. And it says, and my words abide in you. Amen. First, you have to let, let, let uh, uh, first you have to abide in me. me be in my church. Amen. Be in my kingdom. Yeah. Serve, my, serve my shepherd. That's abiding in God. That's yeah. the first thing you have to do. Amen. But see, we're working our way to the promise. Yeah. The promise comes at the end. Yeah. So this is what you have to do in order to get to the end. Yeah. First, you have to abide in me. Yeah. His me is his, his, his tabernacle. Yeah. You have yeah. to work. You have to work. You have to serve. Amen. You have to serve in leadership. You have to serve your shepherd. Yeah. That's the in me he's talking about. Amen. Then he says, my word, uh, and my words abide in you. Amen. What do he mean, abide in me? Mm -hmm. My words. He didn't say word. Uh, right. He said words. Yeah. That's plural. Yeah. Uh. That's plural. That means to adhere and, and be steadfast and know the word. Yeah. You have to know the word. Then you have to firmly believe in the word. Amen. Then you have to preserve the word. Amen. And then you have to purify the word. Yeah. But I'm going to give you some words that you can lean on each and every day of your life. Oh. He says, my words are the fruits of the spirit. Come on now. Oh my God. My words that you, I need for you to, 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 to be in your heart and in your mind and in your body and in your soul are the fruits of the spirit. Amen. Love, joy, peace, Amen. meekness, yes. kindness, goodness, yes. faithfulness. Yes. Those are the words that he needs to uh, abide, that you need to let abide in you. Yes. Real quick, come here, Torrance. Come here, Joe. Come here, Philip. These are my brothers. These are my big brothers. Come here. Come here, Chris. Come here. Hurry up. Come here. Come here. I need to show them something real quick. Come here. It's just like this. Y'all just stand there. Stand there. Right there. It's like that. It's just like this. Work it out. Work it out. This, this, this is my heart. This is my mind. 
-hmm. This is my body. Uh -huh. God says my words need to abide in you. Amen. So God is what? The living water. Right. He flows. Yeah. He quenches. The word quenches our thirst. Amen. So if I put the word in me yeah. and God shows up, when he shows up and he starts to flowing, the first thing he runs into is jealousy. Mm. It's a levy here. Mm. Yeah. The, his word can't flow. Mm. Mm. Come on, sir. Wow. His word can't flow if jealousy's here. Uh -huh. Then when you when you when when, when you when, when you burn off jealousy, mm. and then he flows, he starts flowing real good. Yeah. Then he comes over here and runs into envy. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. Why are you envying your ministry leader? Why are you envying your shepherd? Mm -hmm. The word can't flow when you don't have the fruits of the spirit in you. <laughs> then, when you then, then when you get past envy, here you go flowing into Joe. Wow. Joe, you were supposed to let him go two years ago. Wow. Wow. Josephine, you were supposed to let her go three years ago. Wow. But when God cut them off, you want to reach back and put your hand on them. Come on, that's good, brother. That's good. Wow. So the word can't flow with this levy, which you keep calling Joe wow. on the sly yeah. for that late night call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to get all this out the way. Mm -hmm. The word can't flow. Yeah. It can't be a calming word yeah. in your life yeah. when you have Hoarding things in your life. Yeah. 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 Hoarding things. Then here you have jealousy. Wow. Insecurity. Wow. All the things that are not of the spirit. Thank you, guys. You have to begin to burn those things away. Yeah. And I say that because I'm always doing a self-check. Yeah. I'm always doing a self check. I don't never look at nobody else and say I'm gonna go write, write a sermon about you. Uh, I do a self check. Yeah. This is all about me. Yeah. I told you I'm trying to get God to burn something off of me. Yeah. I'm trying to exchange my ashes for His beauty. Yeah. I need His grace and His mercy yeah. right now. Yeah. Come on. I was single for three years, single man. I was single for three years. Right. Focused totally on God. Did yeah. what I was supposed to do. I was ready. God, God showed me my fine wife sitting over there. <laughs> and I went and got her. I went and got her, y'all. I just love something about a bald head woman. <laughs> then she blown. And got hips. <laughs> but God, God knew what I want. He knew my heart. Because I had the word flowing in me. And when you have the word flowing in you, God says, ask of me what you will. And it will be done unto you. He gave me what I wanted. <laughs> and it, it came from him. She got some word in her. I just can't do anything to her. I just can't say anything to her. I'm transparent as they come. Good. We fell out this week. <laughs> fell out. I'm talking about Lord. Is this what it's gonna be? <laughs> Did you really call me? <laughs> Did she, is she really for me? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I also said, "Show me the error of my ways." <laughs> Show me what I did wrong. And I found out I still had, I was still hoarding All right. some things from my single life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the main thing I was hoarding was pride. Yes, I was prideful. Yeah. I was prideful yeah. because I was, I, I paid all my bills. Yeah. Married her, she didn't have to do anything. I take care of my wife. Amen. But at the end of the day, I still have to let her in. Amen. No matter if I pay everything, yeah. I had to drop that pride. Yes, and as I wrote this, I can tell you, this is for me. Yeah. All right. And I'm man enough to tell my wife, hey, I'm sorry. Yes, I told her, I'm sorry. Yes, I got pride in me. Yeah. I got to drop that. Yeah. 
And I, right now today, I ask God to burn that off of me. Amen. Exchange those ashes for your beauty. Amen. Right? Yeah. You got to have the word in you. And I'm going to leave you with this illustration. Do you know about a caterpillar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It's the ugliest thing All right. you ever want to see. Uh -huh. A butterfly drops onto a leaf uh -huh. on a branch and he drops lava. Uh -huh. Starts out as lava, turns into a caterpillar. Uh -huh. What a caterpillar does for the first seven days, it eats and eats and eats and eats uh -huh. off on the leaf. This is where God, God showed me and I said, oh my God. God say, I am the true vine. Amen. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. God is the true vine. God is Jesus. Yeah. And God is the Holy Spirit. Right? Amen. So Amen. if God is the true vine, then my shepherd, my father, is the branch. Amen. The word of God is the leaf. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. If I was a caterpillar, I'd be sitting on this Bible eating. And eating, Come on, and eating, That's good. and eating. Amen. But you can't eat the right thing if you're not connected to the right branch. Come on now. And if that branch is not connected to the true vine. That's right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's if you don't get the right nutrients flowing from the true vine, the branch is going to break off and wither. Amen. And they're going to pick it up. The Bible says you're going to pick it up and cast it into the fire yes. for firewood. But I'm, I'm, I'm connected to the right branch. Amen. 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 I'm connected to the right branch. Yeah. He says I leave and I eat. I eat. I eat. And what the caterpillar does is once he, after seven days after he gets through eating, he begins to morph. He hangs himself from that branch upside down. Then he begins to eat him, uh, um, start morphing from the inside out. He starts to turn himself back into liquid lava. Uh -huh. Eating on itself. Yes. Let me tell you something. You cannot eat from the inside out if you don't eat the right thing. Come on now. Come on. Because you do know butterflies, they also are derived from the moth family too, right? Yeah. yeah. And what do moths do? Yeah. They eat your clothes. You don't want a moth. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be a butterfly. Come on, man. Yeah. For us, we have to be able to eat the right thing. Yeah. which is the word of God, and be able to, when we get in those moments of despair, we have to be able to put ourselves in our own cocoon, right. just like that caterpillar. Amen. Wrap ourselves in the word of God. Wrap ourselves in God's words so that we can, re, so that we can regurgitate and be able to say, God, transform me right. from this old creature to a new creature. Yes, Eat on the word of God so that when you get in those moments of despair where you can't talk to nobody but yourself, Amen. You'll have something to build on. You'll have something to wrap yourself in, and God will be able to not in, 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 the, in the end not transform you, transition you into a moth, Amen. but transition you into a butterfly. Yes. Amen. Amen.